You provided a number of, you have provided a number of arguments for why the collapses couldn't be due to fire. What positive evidence was there that they were due to explosives? Well, the positive evidence is, uh, uh, I mean, I show that with 10 photos uh, for the collapse of the South Tower and 10 photos with the collapse of the North Tower. But uh, you see, uh, you see uh, not only the squibs coming out uh, at several different places below the, uh, below the level of uh, which the fallen material of the building is, so they're coming out very freshly within the building with no evidence of fire coming out of the, with the, the squibs. But uh, there's, uh, there's other evidence, like, uh, for example, in the South Tower, it, when one of the uh, squibs happens, not only do you have these squibs coming out very rapidly, but you have literally a shift in the top part of the building. I mean, it was uh, uh, you could only explain that by a uh, large explosive, and then very quickly the top started coming down, and this, the top started coming down several times the acceleration rate of gravity. Uh, you can prove that the gravity that uh, fires did not cause it. Just look at the acceleration of that top. Uh, you had a force stronger than gravity, and that force was caused by the the explosion, a gradient in the pressure. Crockett, let's say you're correct. Explosives brought the towers down. They would have had to be placed there in advance of the plane crashes. So what is your own theory of who planted the explosives and why? And this is getting outside of the science. This is your theory. Yeah, this is something I haven't talked about for four years because my concentration has always been on the scientific facts and the scientific evidence. But uh, I realized in writing this book, in the last chapter, I had to uh, deal with that question. Now, I would, uh, I've looked at uh, the, that, uh, two things. Uh, the, what conspiracy theory can possibly explain this? Well, certainly the conventional conspiracy theory that terrorists do deposits by fire does not explain it. I would also claim that uh, one other uh, uh, theory is very suspect, the theory that... Uh, 911 was an inside job because the evidence is that uh, clearly there were terrorists who crashed planes into the buildings. And uh, the, the, you uh, can't seem to deny that evidence. But also you can't seem to deny the evidence that these buildings fell not from the plane crashes but from some other reason. And I, my, my theory has to do with the fact that there's a – Third group, the third phenomena involved in this, because uh, at the time of the crashes, police ended up arresting five Israelis. Now you ask, well, why would Israelis be involved in this? In fact, the Israelis were sh- shooting this, and were uh, dancing and making uh, making uh, fun of it, and uh, the what uh, what the evidence is is that they were members of the Mossad. Now, why would members of Mossad be in New York? Well, I would claim that was because they were farmed out to uh, to take care of this problem. Now, I don't know. I mean, I, it's one of those things that when you look at the situation, the, uh, the, there were at least three groups involved in this, and they were not necessarily conspiring with each other. They, uh, the terrorists clearly brought the planes in, but someone... The, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the intention of the terrorist was decoded by someone, uh, by uh, pr- probably... The, someone knew it was going to happen. Yeah, someone knew. In fact, uh, it was, there's a lot of evidence they knew it was going to happen. And uh, so uh, the, uh, the, the Israelis and Mossad may have been brought in by, uh, to, uh, to counter them. But in fact, uh, what they... Uh, what by they, whom? Who knows? That's that's I haven't tried to answer that, except it would be someone that knew that it was going to happen, and that that, uh, that uh, was had a privilege, access to all the uh, the decoding of uh, what the terrorists were planning. All right. So th- so somebody knew, or or the government knew. I mean, the the CIA, whoever it is, somebody right. knew this was going to happen. This is what you're saying, and they. Whoever that was 
you're saying contracted out to the Mossad to bring the buildings down. But like, I, I, I don't understand. Like, the, the terrorists were already doing the job. Why would somebody else be brought in? Well, the terrorists had, uh, were running the planes and the towers, and they had the con- intention probably of bringing the, tower, uh, the towers down. Now, someone must have gone into their head that uh, this would be a, a good thing. Uh, there would be some advantages for them to then to, to uh, be commissioned to go after the terrorists. Uh, it would, and the um, the motivation. It's it's a little hard to understand the motivation, but someone saw the saw this advantage of uh, making sure they succeed uh, to be an advantage. Now, like I said, this is just a theory. There is no science behind it. It's, I've only put out a theory that's consistent with the scientific evidence. There are a lot of theories out there that are not consistent with the scientific evidence, including the official conspiracy theory that uh, the terrorists alone did it. So, I mean, it's so really then you're saying it's a big old question mark. Like, who is this third right. party that was willing to sacrifice thousands upon thousands of lives and for what? Because you're saying, sounds like you're saying it wasn't the terrorists. It wasn't the terrorists that brought the buildings down. And I'm sure that could it no- have been the terrorists, a different, not the people who, who crashed the planes, but a different group? It's, it is possible. I would not, uh, I, uh, like I say, this is non scientific. So, You're asking me something that I, I uh, discuss in one section of the last chapter. But in fact, the, uh, the, uh, the emphasis of this whole book, the first six chapters, is on the, the scientific facts of what, what happened, what observed, is observed, what the photographs show. So in your mind, though, there is no question that it was explosives. And so somebody had to plant those explosives. That's correct. I mean, that's, you know, I mean, that's really hard to swallow. Really, really hard to swallow. What do you, don't you agree well, I would say the, uh, the, the facts really stand out the, of, the, of this whole situation. And so you, you really have to uh, weave a, a web of, uh, that is inconsistent with the science to, uh, to avoid that. Do you worry, you know, you, you've been a physicist for over 30 years, you've written books, you have a prestigious background. Do you worry that... That this, I mean, in essence, there's some conspiracy here. You don't know who's behind it, but but then you become a conspiracy theorist. Do you worry that this affects your reputation? Well, I would say that uh, I'm. Yes, it it, it probably does affect my reputation, but uh, but I would emphasize I'm not a conspiracy theorist in the sense that uh, that I, I do not. Uh, I have not focused on conspiracy. This is the first time I've ever mentioned anything in the last uh, four years. And uh, lo and behold, you, <laughs> this is one of the questions of my book. But I mean, every every time I've spoken, I've been asked these questions, and I've avoided answering it up to now. But the uh, the thing is, is you have to have a theory that is consistent with the scientific facts and there are a lot of theories out there that are not consistent with the scientific facts so you provide the facts and it's up to someone else to that's right to figure out who did it that is that is correct what actually happened may be different than that but uh it uh it has to be consistent with the scientific facts and scientific evidence crockett it's 10 years after 9 11 what do you hope to accomplish by publishing your book national swindle on the world trade center well i feel that uh, the uh, the the government has put out these reports the 2005 final report on the towers the 2008 final report on wt7 and they're both uh uh wrong and yet uh uh, the, they have been commonly accepted by many people, and the ones who do not accept that. And by the way, there are there are many uh, scientists have now do not accept that. But on the other hand, nothing has has changed. And I feel that in fact that there are murderers behind the the all of the people, the three almost three thousand people that were killed in these towers that came down, and the American people. Uh, boys should know what happened. Mm-hmm. We are actually out of time. Your book is National Swindle on the World Trade Center. 
It can be found on your website, clane.org, and that's S-E-A-L-A-N-E dot org. And let me say, too, I mean, we've covered some of what's in your book. There's obviously a lot more information you provide, the physics calculations, and so on. Crockett, we're out of time. Thank you so much for coming on interviews. Thank you. This show was recorded live at Co-op Radio 91.7 FM Austin. Thank you to Matthew Johnson for engineering and videography. To stay up to date with interviews, become a fan on Facebook at Interviews Live. That's I-N-N-E-R, Views Live. To hear past shows, please go to interviewslive.com.